Welcome back everyone to Jumper Punch. It's the round one of the women's review. We're, yeah. we're getting posh now. How are you doing, Rocker? Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, start of the round one women's round. I um, actually went to the game. You did? I went to the game and um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go over that. We've got a few little things we're going to talk about. Some players, some coaches. Yeah, so looking forward to this review. It should be good, yeah. So obviously, I mean, obviously as we know, as we're watching this, we didn't get the result we wanted. No. And I think that the best thing we do is we'll go through it quarter by quarter. So we'll do quarter one first. And we're going to mix it up this year. We're going to have a little bit of a review of what yep. happened in the quarter. And yep. also we'll have our own individual we're doing quarter by quarter player votes. Yep. And then there's an additional five votes on offer for the full game. So yep. it'll be three, two, one every quarter. Play along at home and then we'll give a top five, five down to one. And yep. we'll tie it up and hopefully they'll win the inaugural jumper punch female winner. That's it, winner. that's it. And the reason we're doing that, like like we were discussing, is uh, sometimes a player has one good quarter. As you'll see in some of my votes tonight, today, uh, one player might have a good quarter and doesn't get recognised, and I think sometimes they should get recognised, yeah? Yeah, um, some people play spurt football, don't they? Bit yep. of spurt, so let's get straight into the first quarter. Because I just actually laugh at this, if you watch the AFLW's official highlight package, yep. it's like a tackle, it's the highlight of the first. Yes, yes, it was a Tough tackle. job, tough job for the media to come up with a highlight for that. Man, it was a tough job for us to come up with a highlight, man. Like seriously, like, look, the good thing, the good thing about the game was going to the game. I loved it. Uh, there was like six, six and a half thousand people there walking to the ground. Reminded me of the old days. I brought my son. We walked up, and I was Princess Park. I loved the ground. We got in there. The crowd said that was the highlight. And then I had to unfortunately watch the first half, you know. So there was there, there was a few complaints as well about prices of hot dogs and stuff. Mate, uh, I, I went and bought tax. two. Ah, oh, man, I went and bought two chips. I had to wait first of all. Like they've had like ten months to organise themselves. They haven't got chips ready. Do you believe it? Twelve bucks for two chips, and they were very very small, you know. So welcome to the AFL. Yeah, things don't change. Things don't change. The most exciting part waiting for the chips was I saw Andrew McKay. Oh yeah, he's, he's dotted in this yeah, one. Yeah, he's ordered in and she's quite, played quite well. Yeah, so yeah, so that's it. So, uh, yeah, so we started, first quarter, everyone was excited. The noise was big, you know. It was know, electric. Like, it was good, man, it was electric. The ground looked, su well, looked superb, man. The ground was superb, I loved it, man, just sitting up there. Actually, I know, I sent you a photo of where yeah. I used to sit. Yeah, it was very nostalgia. right next to the coach's box for like 10 years, especially through that 90s and that, so he definitely brought back some memories. But then, BAM! The ball gets bounced. And, and yeah, we're off. We're off, and then, like, yeah, we're, we were all a bit quiet for a thing. But anyway, that first quarter, what do you think? What do you think? It felt like, it, it reminded me very much of the man. It was like the game had started, but we hadn't quite got off the coach yet. Um, I mean, there was a few tough tackles there, but for me, I felt like there was a, a real, it really did feel like it was their first game in nearly a year. Yeah. It was almost like when you watch a preseason game, it was like they, they, they weren't quite switched on yet. And Collingwood, I thought, were just brilliant at stifling the plan. They had a real, real set plan. You could see they were trying to, particularly when we were trying to exit defensive 50, yeah. which we were under the cosh. I think you gave me the start. It was like 12-3, was it, or something? 12-3 inside 50s in that first quarter, man. Like. And I thought what the Pies did was the fact that they really funneled it through the corridor. Yep. You saw their wingers drop back into the centre as well to yep. create that number. A lot of turnovers. And it's tough if you can't get your hands on the footy. It felt like we were always playing catch-up. And I thought we were very lucky to go in just a point behind. 100% man and Collingwood were um, like they were carrying the ball they were getting carrying the ball you know we, we weren't we were trying to play that possession football which which we did well last year you know but we've got to man we've got to be able to change man and that's the problem with this women's game this week and I thought it's a problem with the men's game last year man we've got to be able to adapt you know and they just didn't they just didn't adapt in that quarter and they got smashed and as you said lucky we're only like one one love, like one zero. What's that? A soccer score? 
Yeah, I mean, Rangers <laughs> do that all the time. All the wow, time. Wow. One, one out to the Rangers. It, it was a tough one, wasn't it? I mean, it was. It did feel very nervous football, didn't it, from both sides? Because Collingwood were making mistakes as well as they entered. Yeah. It. They were missing some very easy targets. Very easy targets. We were missing easy targets in the corridor. Yep. We, did, we didn't really look to go out to the wing as well, which I, I was hoping yeah. we would do. It was kind of like, it seemed like everyone had read the scripts of what yeah. each other was doing, and it was kind of a game of, it's almost like two pre-season games, and the coaches said, yeah. we're going to attack, you're going to defend, yeah, and it kind of was just play. recycled for a whole 100%, quarter. 100%, man, that's exactly what happened. Um, look, some highlights of the game, I've got them written down, you know. Uh, uh, Lalufi, is that how we pronounce it? Lalufi, yeah. Lalufi. She actually had a good first quarter, man. She 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 um, had some great tackles in defensive, man, to win some free kicks. So they were, they were the highlights, you know. Uh, Rosali, I wrote, chance to hit a target. Oh, terrible kick, man. She she had once, man. We were open, and she just like missed it completely. And I'm telling you, man, you can't do that. Even if it's the women's or whatever, you just can't do that, man. So the other thing I noticed that the three times. The three times that we went into our our four fifty, they just booted the ball. They just like panicked and booted the ball. So there was no structure there. So we were never going to do anything. So yeah, that's that's as much as I can say about the first quarter. There wasn't much to say. Yeah. I, I thought the first quarter was a warning sign. There was two avenues of thought when we'd gone in for the first quarter. One, Collingwood have had their moment. Yep. And it was going to be Collingwood of the last two years. Yep. They've had their chances, not capitalised. We're yep. going to run over the top. The other is what you say there, early entries inside 50, and I was fearful that it was only a matter of time before these early 50s started to pay off. Yep. And before we get on to the second quarter, it was the latter in the second quarter, but... Yeah. Let's see your vote. So who got, right. who got the... So definitely... Three. Okay, Wilson. Yeah. Three votes, because look, how could you not get three votes? The ball was going in there that often. She had to get, and I think she had like five or six possessions in that first quarter. She was set. So she was definitely like the cement back there. So she was good. I gave La Luffy two because of those tackles. She done really good, you know. And I gave one vote to Elise O'Day. 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 I think she. Go. Our new girl, and I think she done good for her first, you know, game. She was tough, so, wasn't she? Yeah, she was tough, yeah. She was tough in the middle, yeah, so she done well. So so they're my three votes for the... Uh, not not far different. I went three votes, Wilson. Yep. I went two votes. I went Presparkis. I was in... Okay. Even though she wasn't dominant, I thought she was an, a presence. She was she impactful. Was she was definitely throwing her weight around. Yep, definitely. And I think that's what you need if you were going to lift... Yep. And one I gave to your girl as well, the Lofi. Yep. I thought she was phenomenal. I think her engine, her willingness to run. She was one of the few girls who looked like she was going to run and carry it as yep. well. Yep. She bought that 20 seconds time. Yeah, she, which looks we needed. she looks good, man. I'm Shame not, she got hurt at the end, but yeah, yeah she was very good. I'm happy day. with her. I'm happy with her. So, yeah, so that smart. was the first quarter. Um, Hopefully Adam Saad watches her game and yeah. uh, brings it for us around one. Yeah, that's one it. That. So my three things about that quarter that I wrote, like the defence was strong. It had to be. The defence was strong at the time. They sh they have to move. This next quarter, they've got to move this ball a bit quicker. You know what I mean? And lower the eyes when we get into that 50, man. Like, really, Taylor Harris, she did nothing. But really, also, she didn't have many chances, you know. So, yeah, so that's my three things about the quarter. And then, yeah, so then we... Everyone's thinking, all right, we're going to move forward. And the second quarter... Quarter bang! The next quarter comes along, yeah? Yeah, and it was it was a weird one this game, wasn't it? Because I would have said that at the first half, first quarter, I, I, Collingwood were better, yep. but they were very wasteful, and I thought yep. it was only a matter of time before we adjusted as a side. Yep. Harford would ring the changes, yep. and the structure would change, and it kind of didn't, did it? It was kind of this time Collingwood punished bad, bad as well, yeah. Bad. So what did you feel like the second quarter? You tell me, at the ground, what was it like? It was just, uh, yeah, they took complete control, Colin, man. They took complete control. At times I saw I saw our players just walking around with their hands on their hips, man. It's like they almost had given up, man. I don't know if it was the first game, they got tired, but Collingwood absolutely. Um, it started well, 
Lalufi, she done a great tackle straight away in defence. I thought, yep, we're on. Uh, Prasparkas, she then started dominating this corner. She was she was doing a lot around the ball. You know, she was doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So I was happy with her. But Livingston for the Pies, absolutely a rock back there, man. She she just stopped everything back there. Good so girl. She is. She's good, man. She's good, man. She's strong, man. She was winning the ball. She was just... The thing I like about her, man, she was just doing what she has to do. Nothing special. Just getting in the way. Taking the marks, yeah. So, uh, and then, from then on, you know, uh, the way I saw it, then Colin kicks kicks their four goals in about... Look, in actual game time, it was about three minutes. They kicked four goals in three minutes, man. This is... This, uh, for a sec, I thought we were watching the men's game. Like they're just letting four or five goals break through. But remember I always say about moments in the game. There was a kick in and it might have been from Wilson. So, you know, like she did have a... She does this kick in. It was a terrible kick in. Man, the Pies play, I can't remember, punches it out. From that point onwards, they hold it into the 50 and they kick four goals from that point. Man, like you go, oh, it's just one terrible kick in. Look what happened. You know, she hits that target, that ball moves forward, who knows what happened, you know, the whole game changes. So, yeah, so from that point onwards, it, the whole game changed, and I wrote here, after the fourth goal, game over. It was game over. That was it. That was it. And and I was right in a way. Tell you what, gave, gave up first half. I like it. Oh, man. I like it. Carlton of old coming back. Oh, yeah, I think like that, Rocket. No, I agree with you. I mean, I thought one thing, like, it hurts to lose to Collingwood, even... I think it would hurt me to hear Cripps lost a game of Guess Who to a Pi member. So it hurts no matter what we're, what we're doing. And to have a competitive game against them, they dominated. And then it was execution of game plan. I thought yeah. Collingwood were marvellous. They'd worked us out. And I thought that kick in, like you say, by Wilson, it was orchestrated. That was their yeah. plan. The forward pressure. Yeah. They, they were controlling who we kicked to when we exited defensive yeah. 50. And there was no change up. It was very, you could kind of guarantee we were going to go down that flank. Yep. It was set up, yep. the spoil quickly, crummers are on the ground, yep. locking it in. Then they locked it in. And they was the locked pressure. it in, and the pressure just started, and the Blues couldn't hold the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, and it was the same with their goals. It yep. was it, eventually the pressure told. And yep. I think at the end of the quarter, you saw there was frustration, wasn't there, Carl? And, goals. and you see that in the. With, yeah, there was that brawl at the end of the half, was it? Yeah. Was it then? Yeah, and everyone kind of cheered on that. And that's fair enough. That's good, man. Show a little bit of, like, fight there. But to me, that was frustration. That was frustration. They got underneath your skin. Because even that brawl was, well, why? Why are we doing this? You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to show a bit of fight. But how about you show a fight by getting the ball for Cronella? <laughs> I don't care that you're the women. I don't care that you're the women, mate. You want to be compared to the blokes, man? Seriously, that was a disgrace. It that was a bad disgrace. First zero. How many games do you win by kicking zero half time? Never. Don't, don't mean many man, I have to go back to the eighteen bloody thirties to get that, and and they weren't even playing footy those days. You know, like come on, mate. So it was anyway, it was a tough one. I mean, it was tough to watch. I always think differently though. I, I enjoyed Maddie doing that. I, I thought that was good. I thought to me. Definitely. It showed that she was. I thought I never questioned her throughout the game. No, I thought she was ready to play, and she did in this in this and, quarter. And, where she really and it felt it. like she was, she was pissed off. Yeah, she and was. And I, I felt like she took it out on Davy because she was an ex Carlton player, yeah. and I felt that like there was some. I thought there was a subplot there. It was yeah. more like you left me. Yeah, you left me, and yeah. I've got to cope with this. Yeah. Like how dare you? Yeah. And I did think when I saw that I had a little bit of faith we'd win. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought Maddie's going to go in half time, definitely, definitely. start pointing a few fingers, yeah, saying, come on, help me out. Yeah. Help me out. I can't do this on my own. Yeah, One of you's going to have to help. Yeah. So, I mean, let's get round to the vote. Second quarter. You, well, you, you were, I can see you fired up here, so I'm expecting a few ones. Well, look, look, and it was hard to give votes here, man. It was hard to give votes, man. But for Sparkers, she definitely had the free votes here, man. She went in hard. She's above everyone. 
she's, she's class above no she's class so I gave her the three look I gave two to Hill I thought she did alright yeah Mimi I'm yeah yeah him. Mimi I think she did good man so she looks good and then one to plain oh, no. look I, they, might, they might be controversial those two and one but it was even hard to give some sort of votes there man so I thought they did a few little things that might have earned them a couple of votes so yeah they're my votes yeah well I mean I went a similar row, I suppose. I went for Sparkis, she got the three. Uh, because if you have a punch on, you get bonus points. Um, Lottie Wilson, she came in again. I thought, even though she wasn't as dominant here, yeah. I thought her positioning, she... Yeah. I didn't feel like she was at blame for too much. No. Nah. I thought she she was ha she was bringing the ball down to the yeah. advantage of our smaller yeah. defenders. I was enjoying a game. I thought our position was brilliant. Yeah. And one vote I gave to Moody. I thought she was. I, I thought she was one of the few girls throughout the game to dominate her matchup anyway. Yeah. And I thought she was giving decent first use. Particularly there was a few restarts yeah. because of the goals. Yeah. We were on top in that avenue. She actually did quite well. She actually did well, and she definitely got on top of the ruck. You know what I mean? And she definitely won. I think at the end of the day, the ruck position. So. Yeah, she's definitely one of them girls. I think as well who is building to win yeah. to be the best in her yeah. position i think as a rook woman i think she's really improved yeah. massively she's one of the few girls i think who has exponentially improved yeah. they've all been linear yeah. but i think hers has been quite dramatic yeah, no, she's done well. i'm oh, impressed oh. Now, i'm going to give you one more thing of the that quarter that that the hands on the head moment no? so the hands on the head moment and let me just have a look uh was it the was it the third goal kicked by our ex-captain? Oh, yeah. Was it the third goal? Let me see. First, second, third pies, game over. Bree. No, she kicked the fourth goal. Yeah. She kicked the fourth goal. Man, how do you allow her to kick a goal? Come it's on, tough. mate. She should have been down, ex mate. Ex-player. Mate, that was tough, man. As soon as I seen that, man, you could see, like, the pie supporters in front of me. They were pumping the air, you know. They were loving it, man. And I just put my hands in it. No. That's the last thing we needed, you know. She, so. she, she. to be fair, that, that was a tactical masterstroke as well, moving yeah, her and Molly forward, over yeah. forward. Yeah. Uh, and that was my fear's first quarter, that early entry. You get a few quicker, more skillful players yeah. on the end of that. That was a good goal, too. It right, could yeah. be game over that quite quickly. So, I think that's the one she dribbled in, wasn't it? Yeah, she's... Uh, Tommy player, big loss, big loss. I mean, she's very, yeah. very good footballer. Well, I mean, let's not talk too much about oh, it. Oh, and then one more she's thing. the boys. So two of our, then, then, two of our main players, Harrison, Vessio, one possession. They were anonymous for the first. Come on, mate, mate. You're going to see a segment later on. I'm going to give you about one of those players. Anyway, let's get back to, let's go to number three, mate. Let's yes, go. So quarter quarter three. three, this was probably the the Blues highlight, wasn't it? It was a resurgence, so I mean, I, I felt, and I always find this weird, there was a noise shift from the fans particularly, I think there's energy, yeah. and I kept saying to you, didn't I, in the group, make some fucking noise, were you, second yeah, half? Yeah, you did. Because everyone went quiet, and like, I'm, a, I'm from the soccer background, when my team's losing, I get louder, yep. uh, I want them to know I'm here, we're here, we might not be happy, but we're here. Yep. We're in the dogfight, we're well, in the trenches. We're, we're part, yeah, that's yeah, it, we're in, part of the side. We're in man. trenches, there is shrapnel going around, but I'm yeah. still here. So, so what can we do as fans? Make some noise. We can't kick the ball, but we can make some make noise. Make some noise, exactly. force it to happen. That's it, Force exactly. it to happen. Boo every touch that, that they every do. Every single touch. And look, coming into the second half, it, it does feel like there's a, it, it's a new start. So they did come out with some sort of uh, rejuvenation, you know what I mean? And they started good. They, they lost, started they lost really good. Yeah. I thought the big change here was we actually started to hit blue shirts yep. around yep. the ground. Yep. It started to happen. That Harford movement started to happen. Yep. We started to dissect and beat the trap and yep. not and actually avoid the trap. For a, there was 100%. a few few chances going down the wing. Yep. We saw Maddie. She started to influence down yep. the wing, starting to get her hands on the pillow and make things yeah. happen. And yeah, we decided to come back into it. We dared to believe, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, well. it was, Stevens won it. Who kicked the first? Was well, it Stevens? Yeah, that, she that, popped up. That was good. That was good. And uh, that Stevens not only did that, she done a couple of tackles in there. She started to look busy in that forward line, starting to put that pressure on, which which are uh, which caused that first goal. You know that that because she got it from a it was a free kick, I think, holding the ball. So yeah, she started putting the pressure. You could see the Collingwood defenders starting like. 
uh, rushing it a little bit. So that's what happened. So that first goal by Stevens, and she converted. You know, like because you'll see later on that some some of our players didn't convert when they should have. She converted, and it started it started a little bit of a run for us. Uh, definitely, yeah. And you saw that there was a bit of energy as well, wasn't there? There was 100%. definitely like like I say, from the fans, I could feel the energy, but from the players, it felt like right, we've got a bit of a job to do now. Yeah. And you could start to see that the job was going to be done. You yep. can see. But in true cow and fashion, we allowed that girl out the back. We did all the hard work. Yeah. We got the three goals. You're starting to dare to believe her. Your Vessio finally got yeah. her hands on the ball and got the goal. Yeah. You're starting to believe yeah. her. That's yeah, it. it's there. The get, and I, at this stage now, up until that Collick would go, I thought, they're going to do this. 100%, man. We, this we is going to be the Ratchet goal. We turned it. And then, all right, I'm going to do a new segment now from each quarter. I'm going to do my hands in the head moment. Yeah, and that was that Collingwood. Such an I easy goal. I couldn't believe well. it, man. Like, we sit there and, like, everything's... All we got to do is just hold, man. Why are we letting this player... Not only, like, she gets the ball, she gets the kick away. Well, why is this Collingwood player, like, behind with no one on her? You know, like... And so, yeah, so that really... And, I mean, she ran into an open goal. So, it really... It really held us back. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, that was and, good. And, and then there came, didn't there, a couple of mistakes as well. We got a bit fidgety after that goal. You had Harris's yeah. moment of madness. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, there was the goal line scramble. 100%, yeah. It, yeah. it kind of got a bit fidgety. Yeah. You f I felt it as a fan. That goal the, maybe killed it. Yeah, it knocked the wind out of it. Because it felt we deserved another goal. Like the pressure was there, the dominance. Yep. Really, you could have been looking at that game and it should have been maybe 25, 26. Yep. Would have been probably a fair assessment. Oh, yep. you play for, but that 100%. goal took away you something. It because it was already hard enough to kick goals, you know, and we, we were eight points behind and then that made it back to 14. You know, we were struggling. Like, man... We really played, we played a good quarter, but really it was like three goals in five minutes, you know, like that's what we've done. And then again, like you said, then we started like fumbling again at the end of that quarter. So, look, but Moody lifted, like she'd already lifted, but she'd done well. Uh, see, Harris, you know, she, she got that free kick and then she um, she misses, she doesn't make the distance. I think twice she didn't make the distance, you know what I mean? So, you know, like, I don't know, man, like you're there to kick those goals, man, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. It was a tough game, it was a tough, it was a tough game. game. But look, let's be positive, it was a good quarter. We came back, we did what we had to, and now we're giving ourselves a chance, yeah? Yeah, and unfortunately it's the old adage, isn't it? You can't win a game of foot, you're just winning a quarter. And unfortunately, we, it was all that dominance, but not much change in the scoreboard, no, did it, really? No, not really, not really, yeah, so... Uh, Yeah, so that's it. So tell me your votes. Who got the tree? So three, naturally, it was Chris, Chris Barkers. Mate, can we get a, use a nickname for that? Because I keep getting Mads. that wrong. I'm just call him Maddie. Maddie. All right, Maddie got three. Now, I thought the two vote is uh, up and cuppa. Is this anything to do with meeting him over chips? Mate. <laughs> I gave him the look, mate. I went. I'll sort right. you out. And... McKay come out and she she looks, was very good she's a very good man the pressure man she was getting right but you know she's getting underneath man she was doing the tackle so McKay got the two votes man I'm, I'm really impressed with that look and I gave one to Stevens right she kicked that goal which which sparked us you know what I mean so I think she deserved the vote for, for that one goal and as I said she done a couple of tackles she was pretty uh, good there there could have been another handful of people people who got a vote there but it was tough yeah because yeah, i think tough. every girl played really well it was a really good quarter man yeah if we did that for four quarters man yeah it would have been about seven but that's the, that's the problem yeah that's the problem so do you yeah. know what i mean i went i went maddie three yeah. votes i thought that was a lock i thought she really was impactful with this quarter yeah she started to earn it uh two i went stevens i thought she was phenomenal yeah. i thought she was a threat down back she was a threat up forward yeah she looked like she had that little bit of energy, which yep. I think the girls need. I thought that tackle changed the game. Yep. It was because then first four minutes we were all over them and That's nothing it. was happening. That's it. It needed a bit of luck, a, yep. a moment, and the moment came she from took the tackle. A moment, man, and that's what it's about, man. We've been saying that for the last year, man. It's about moments, and she took only moment. moment. That's what takes, isn't it? And yep. she did it. And I thought I gave this one to Mimi Hill. I thought she yep. might have not had the greatest quarter. Yeah. But I thought she was in everything. I yeah. saw her around the ball a yeah. lot. I saw her; she was there, yeah. offering something. And I thought she need. I, I like to reward players for offering something as well, yeah. being an option. That's it. And this is what 
and this is what this voting system's about I think it's about you know each quarter mate someone could have done something well they might not have got the um, the most possessions but they did that one thing or they showed something so yeah man I'm with you man she, she, she had a good quarter there yeah so and so yeah so the score was 19 to 32 uh, Harris did look hurt she did look like she was kind of like struggling a bit so but again man she hasn't really done uh, much uh, we have to take risks now this last quarter we're going to take some risks, run hard, eh? That's all we've got to do, and we can win this. Got to roll the dice now. So let's do it. What happens? I mean, to me, I'll start off with Harris. She started to come into this quarter, but yep. I felt this was a little bit too late, and I yep. don't blame Harris for this. I think Livingston was doing a job on her, and I'd look to the coaches and the players yep. to help her out. Yep. I'm, I'm not a big fan of try and rectify it, keep it going. Yeah. I'm a fan of, I think Harris is a bit like Buddy, a bit like Harry. I want them with the ball in hand. Yeah. I want them to get some involvement early. Yeah. And I'd look to the coaches, if it's Teague, if it's Horse, if it's Harford, yeah. to look at their forward and be like, right, they're getting battered. Let's move them somewhere just to get their hands on the ball and feel involved, yeah. get a bit of confidence. Because I felt like she was, I thought in the third quarter, them attempts at goal were born out of frustration. Yeah. And I think maybe it affected her. In yep. the terms of Livingston's talked a big oh, game, and she's and talked it, and she's she's talked it, and she walked it, and I think she didn't want that, Harris. Yeah. Harris wanted to shut her up, yeah, and I think she maybe took the risk that she didn't need to. 100%. But the fourth was a weird one, wasn't it? Because yeah. this was one way cow and traffic, but it was we like it. it was we like it. it was like trying to just penetrate a brick wall, wasn't it? It was. Well, if you look at it, because half time the stats were all calling right? and so. Be the third quarter but even the last quarter like we evened up a lot of the stats after this so it kind of gives us a bit of a false look at what Carlton was really like that day you know so when you look at the stats there was a lot of evenness uh, uh, later on but yeah it was one way traffic but we didn't do what we had to do mate we didn't and we had our chances there, I, I thought there was a, a domination throughout the ground. I thought Moody and Prasparkis dominated. 100%. Um, yeah. They gave us first use. Yep. I thought contested wise around the ground stoppages. Yep. It was all Carlton. Yeah. Just it was the first half sloppiness kind of came back. It was yep. that last kick, wasn't it? It yep. was. It was decision making. You look back in that fourth quarter. There's a few moments where you think, oh. if only the player carried on running. Yep. If the player looked to his left, looked to yep. a left, looked to a right. It was, we always talk about small yeah. margins, and I thought the fourth quarter was small margins. 100% man, and as I said, we uh, we missed, I think it was Hoskins, is it? Yeah. Missed that goal. Uh, Georgia G had a chance right, right up in front. I mean, the air was a little bit hard, but seriously, we have to be taking those chances, especially when we're um, that close. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, it was weird as well, wasn't it, Hoskins, because she kicked her first goal in AFL. Yeah. And... I yeah. would have said that one was a bit easier. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I backed so. it to that too. I yeah, was like, yeah, she'll well, get she this. should have got that. I was like, she'll nail this. She's, Come on, the other how one much was, was it, like 20 metres out? I was like, the other one was harder. She'll yeah, nail this one straight man. through the biggest. Well, I was, I was pumped at that stage, you know, and I was pumped, man. When she when she uh, had that chance at goal, I'm thinking, that's it, man, she'll get this, she won't miss this, and then we're right into it, you know what I mean? Then all of a sudden the pressure starts. It would have made a difference as well when it was six man, you points. Go, well, you go to six points or under under a goal, Man, all of a sudden the pressure changes and we're already dominating. But anyway, they didn't take their chances and uh, unfortunately, we kick a goal after the siren to make it six points. Unless I think that not counting. I'm not counting that goal. Oh, Seriously, no. man. Seriously, after goal, unless you're news and you're kicking it to win the game, I don't count that goal, man. Like, seriously. If you look at it, we went three quarters goalless. Three quarters goal. How many games? I want to I do some research. I want to go back and see how many games have won with three goals, with three quarters at a goal. So, yeah, we kind of had an opportunity there, but I don't know. Did we deserve to win it if we won it? Man, maybe not, but I don't know. I don't know. Always deserve to be kind. I suppose. <laughs> that's right. That was another thing, man. That was another thing, man. When they played that song at the end, man, and I had to walk out. Man, I was just silent, man. I'm thinking, you... You see, I find it so weird, you know, you uh, Australians. You Australians block my head. Yeah. Like, I would not allow Saudi to sing. 
no, any of their trash at the end over of the game. Over and over. As we're walking out, I've got to hear you. Bah, 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 bah. Shut up, I mean, I, I boo national anthems. Yeah. No, I agree, crap. man. I agree, man. That was... <laughs> I'm telling you, mate, this has got to change. My mate. pop used to go mental at the disrespect, uh, but I would be booing. I don't know where it was last year. Nah, man, this is our, this is our ground, man. And we've heard it said before, this is our ground, you know, this is our home. You know, and, and you you allowed Collingwood to play that shit song. Did you hear that, Collingwood? Shit song, right? At our ground, and I had to listen to it, you know. Bloody disgrace. Can't take that. It's man. a tough one. I mean... It, it's a hard thing to take out of this quarter as well because it was pure domination all around the ground controlled the footy and it was just it was like someone making me a roast dinner without the gravy yeah that's it like that's it cheers for the effort but yeah look the effort was there and the second half the effort was there look I, one good thing I've got a stat here so tackles inside 50 was 13 to 5 to come yeah, so the pressure went up the pressure went up and they got that tackle so you know like there was one thing i didn't like i don't know how many bounces normally they do but not one bounce you running bounce it's a very it, it's not a common occurrence i know it's not a common occurrence. how about we make it a common occurrence should be how about we go ahead of everybody and make this a common occurrence how about we are the first ones to do this i'd like to see a lot more girls take off and i think We've got, we've got a couple of girls who've got some speed there, so uh, why don't we use it? I think you've got Egan, you've got G, yeah. you've got... Like, you, there's, there's girls all around the park that can have a little bit of now. So I'd like to see Prosparky's take off as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. back herself in, because I think she's... She is... A, we should do, like, the... Mercurial talent. The 1970s, mate, with Barassi. Man, handball, 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 mate. I want to hear you, mate. Just run! Get the ball and run, mate. What do you reckon? I think... I, I, I think... Harford will come onto the coach's votes a bit later, but I think Harford he uh, missed a trick for rolling the dice. Yep. I think 100%. I, I, I thought I thought Colin would just out coach us. 100%, and I think, wasn't his best. And I think by the fourth, I think the girls were just knackered. Yep. I think they worked so hard because yeah. people forget chasing a game is very hard, nah, and it was hard. Winning man. a game is quite easy. They hadn't played for a while. Look, look, we get all. That and you could no, but you could see that they'd run out. I felt like it, yeah. a mistake. The dominance was there, but the mistakes were coming from fatigue. Like exactly. they worked hard exactly. to get beat, yeah. which is a demoralising feeling, isn't 100%. it? It's quite easy when you're three goals ahead to keep yeah. three goals ahead, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that That's hard. Right. That's right. And then to always come back. How many times do you see it? Like, man, they're ahead. You come back. You get to like you actually even up the score, and then you just can't continue on because it's so much effort. To well, get Richmond there. are that exponent, aren't they? Of that, yeah. of they might open the door, but they're very good at slamming it That's back right. shut and saying, "Thanks." So, hey, next week, mate. Next week, mate. Make sure we're not behind. You know what I mean? Let's go out there that first quarter. Make sure we're not behind, man. Leave it all out there, man. Leave it all out. Anyway, there were some votes to happen. I was going to say, yeah, go on then. Um, All right, I'm going to be controversial here. Go on. I love a controversial. Mate, three votes to Harris, right? To I Harris. think she had a good quarter there, man. She she went on the ball. She started getting the tap. She started taking some marks. You know what I mean? Um, I think she was uh, she was definitely the best player in the third quarter, in my view. Uh, I gave two to Egan and one to press Barkers. Now, it could have gone either way. She could have got the two votes. She was good, Maddie. She could have either got the three. I just thought, I just thought Harris, mate, to come back in that last quarter and did what she did, she, she, she deserved the three votes. So, yeah, my favorite. Okay, and then we'll, I went Maddie three. Yeah. Maybe a bit biased. I just yeah, like watching yeah. that. I don't care. Well, she, it's a typical... My votes. It's a typical... That's right. Your votes so <laughs> do, what I want. do what I want. <laughs> well, it's a typical midfielder, you know. You're always going to be looked looked at. So, yeah, no, but look. Because she was on the bench for a bit too. So that's why I didn't really give her more Yeah, vote. no, I just felt like when she came on, you noticed the change. 100%. Even though she looked like she was a little bit hurt when she came back on. Mate, she's a gun. She's a gun. She's, she's pretty good. She's a gun, man. I'm telling you, man. The way she goes... And to win like the Brownlow or best and fairest last year at, at what was the second year because the first year she won rising star then she wins that man great effort and she comes back first game man and she just showed why she won that award last year man. And hopefully sam walsh wins it in his third 100 percent, man it's going to get it sam go and get it go and get it boy yeah so that's it so they're the votes yeah uh, yeah then i went moody too yeah 
Uh, yeah, I thought Maddy needed. I, I thought Moody needed some more kudos. I thought Rook, Rook women and Rook men in general, yeah. they kind of forgotten Rock about. They, they get forgotten about, they don't do, they? They do. It's the they forgotten do. thing. And I thought here she might have not been dominant hit out wise, but I thought the way that she robs her own ball, she's yeah. very good in the air and around the ground. Yeah. I was impressed, and I gave Egan one. Yeah. Thought she was yeah. was exemplary. Exemplary, I'll say that's a big word. Yeah, 100%. I don't, don't expect me to say that word because that's not going to happen. Big word. We, we, don't no have to get, we don't have to get poms. No, uh, no, big it. word. No, no. All right, so the five has to go to Maddie. She absolutely had a good game, man. Like, she, was, she, was, she really led the way. Four votes I'm going to give to Wilson. She definitely was very good there in the in the defence, man. Really, really the rock of the defence, you know. Um, in actual fact, I didn't prepare this fight for me too well, so then I'm just working off the top of my head. So I think so far I'm doing all right. I'm going to go for uh, McKay. So what am I up to? Three. Three. That was McKay. Three. Three was McKay. I'm going to give two to Egan. Yeah. Yeah. And then the one I'm going to give to the Luffy. Oh, wow. All right. I you like it. You like that? I That's just up top of my head, mate. So, so I'd, I'd say that puts Maddie at the top of yeah, your, definitely. with all them votes correlated. Yeah, 100%, man. Not bad effort. Yeah, Not yeah, bad nah, effort. She definitely deserved it, yeah. Well, based on that, I went, I, I did my four quarters combined. Yeah. I did that against where I'd expect you to be. So I gave individual kudos for each quarter and then I had a different criteria for right, the full fair enough. the whole game, yeah, that's fair I, enough, yeah. I, I tried, so I went Wilson got my five, even right. though Chris Park is featured in all my vote counts before yep. anyone got a lot of clever audience who'll pick up and be like, well, hang apart, Dan. That's right. She got three votes nearly every but quarter. You've explained yourself, you've explained yourself. Always have a get out clause. <laughs> Four, I went Chris Park, I course. thought it was hard, I thought, for me though, a perfect game for Maddie has been the yeah. best on my ground yeah. every quarter, that's what I expect. Yeah. Um, Moody went three. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Two, yeah. I went Hill. I thought yeah. she had a great debut. And one was La Yeah. Okay. Because, so that's it looks good. like, I'd say Maddie is probably still. Well, she'll be leading and I'll be surprised if she doesn't win this award at the end. So I'm gonna call it early, You're gonna I reckon. But you know what, all your other girls, man, I love you all. I love, Take it out. I love you all, man, man. Mate, there's someone there to now. I have no favourites as well, so my No, 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 no favourites, man. I want, I want like McKay to take it or something like that. Someone new to come up and say, mate, this is my award. And that's what they should be doing, you know? Because this is going to be a prestigious award, man. I reckon Moody will be a, they're, they're about yeah, dominance. Moody, Moody, yeah. Because oh, you get some cool. Ruckle of here as well. Yeah, well Wilson, Wilson will be there. Yeah, dancing. she'll be clear with that. I reckon Lalofi as well, she'll be around there. Yeah, no, I, man, I like her. And I, I reckon Taylor as well. I reckon she'll come yeah, back. Yeah, she'll come back. And as I said, in that last quarter, she showed what she's made of, man. And she was a little bit hurt, so. So, yeah, so that's... Mate, right, so for every good, there's always a bad, yeah? For perfect to exist, there has to be man. bad. You yeah. go, what is it? Ying and ying and mm. bad and good, you know? Yeah, for, for me the to exist. The and the wog, I'm yeah. not going to say who's the bad yeah, and who's the I was going to say, for me to exist, Sweet Luke has got to exist. That's it. So there has to be. We're going to call this. You should have stayed home. You should have stayed home. You should have stayed home. So I'm going to give, like, you know, I have to. I have to do this, man. I have to give to the you should have stayed home player, yeah? Yeah, go on. Hit me. Vessio. Vessio. Should have stayed home, love. Um, you should have stayed home, man. That was like, really, we expected a lot more for it, man. And, yeah, you kicked that goal. Yeah, even the free kick was a bit doubtful, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, But she kicked what she had to kick, you know what I mean? Oh, I expect nothing less from you. But really, four possessions, one to half time. You know, two were handballs. Man, she didn't really impact in anything, you know, so really... It wasn't a usual high level no, game. No. And I expect her to bounce back hard. But this week, Victim seriously, of her own expectations. she should have just like rested, stayed home. Forward line was tough, was was very, yeah. very maybe, tough. Yeah, well, maybe it was, it was tough in there because she wasn't, she should have stayed home.
Yeah. <laughs> well, for, for opposites to exist, we'll, yeah. we'll do Pom's play of the day. So we've got this bit here. So yeah. we're deep into the third. Yeah. We're chasing the game. Yeah. And obviously, as we know, Maddie doing Maddie things. Now, look at that. Hits Jess to kick her first snag of her AFLW career. Mate, how good was that kick? It was beautiful. Turn away as well from traffic. And it's, and it, it's what we're looking for for Maddie exactly. to do. It's exactly. moments like that. And that's exactly. where I think with your negative of the day, it's what we're looking for from our players like Vassio. Yeah. We need them to do exactly. these magic moments. Mate, and that was a magic moment, man. And I loved it. And when I watched that, I, I was pretty close to that. Um, yeah. I kind of uh, said, I turned to my son and go, look at that, mate, that's that's what we need to do. And it looked like we had turned things around, you know, so... Got us a goal, just over a goal, just yep. over a goal, so moments like that are important. She's picked up the ball, she's picked out the target, marked the ball, and then went back and kicked it, man. That was definitely play of the day. And then, what I've done for you, and for the audience, is... We've got our famous AFLW heat match maker return. So yeah. I've picked two out. So we'll start off with Maddie. And just quietly, just probably the the only show that's going to have heat maps for, for the VFLW, hey? See, Pom's all about quality. Mate, what I do for the boys. what we do, mate. The exactly girls' right. gap. Exactly right, Girls' man. gap. So let's go through this. So here we are. So shout out to a few of you who asked for an arrow of the direction. Yeah. Last year, there's oh, an yeah. edit. Hey, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, you see, it. if you ask for something, Pom provides. Oh, uh, they Pom provides. So this it. was Maddie. So we're going from right to left of the screen, so you yeah. can see that she yeah. did quite a lot of her work. Obviously, where you'd expect in the centre, you can see as well that she was a victim of us being pushed back. She did a lot of just that, in yeah. front of the defensive fifty. Yeah. And as you can see there, you see the goal assist, top left, bottom left of your screen. Yeah. You can see that she she really impacted that left hand side of the yeah. round. Yeah. But it was a dominant. I mean, this is what we expect to see over the over now their season. That if she does dominate the left, or if if it goes out, so that'll be interesting to see. Yeah. yeah she does cut back inside as well on a right peg. Yeah. So I think it works pretty well. Yeah. It's the old soccer technique yeah. of using your thing but I mean good and she good. took one mark in defence yeah she had that rock yeah, steady I remember that now yep yep that was a good mark in defence yeah yeah that's good but I mean like you see a lot there as well around the centre clearance yep. like you can see Maddie doing Maddie things yep. really yep. I, I was really enjoying her quarterback role as well quite a lot behind play yes. yep. and she was looking to set things up and yep. I think as that more games get played we're going to see a better Maddie I yeah, think, Maddie I, think was so. a, I mean eight I mean Better Maddie, 18 touches, three tackles is is very good. Very good, very good. So man. same better. Yeah. I think there's more to come. I wouldn't be surprised to see Maddie hit 30 touches this year. Yeah, well, I can see a 30 disposal. That, yeah. If she can just get a little bit of help, she, yeah, there was a couple of midfielders who did all right, but yeah, she gets a little bit more help. Yeah, I can see. I can, I can see, see a 30 touch going in this. Yeah, a, a dirty 30. Yeah. And the other girl we looked at was your girl. You know, you had a big fan of her this this week, Wilson. Mate, she was like a rock back there, man. She's really, really good, man. She's a, a bit like a weeder, you know? Like, she's very, very calm, man. She does... Composed. She, composed, yeah, exactly. And she does what she has to do, yeah, yeah? And you can see here, her heat map shows it. You can see she's kind of, like, taking token touches all yep. across the back line. Yep. Um, I thought one thing as well, if you look at the marks just in the goal square, yep. she also offered herself that kick backwards to slow yep. it down and look for the switch. Yep. Good with the ball as well, all of her possessions that were defensive in yep. that pattern hit targets as well. So yep. very weetering, like good user of yep. the ball. 100%. But you can see she really intercept that first quarter yep. particularly, that intercept. Intercept marking yeah, all over the show. brilliant, man. She was like all over the place. Yeah, and you yeah. see what she's patrolling there, the yellow showing where she was roaming, really yeah. patrolled that she back has, line. She controlled the whole back line. Right? Mate, we've got ourselves a good defender there. We've got ourselves a good defender there, yeah? I, I'd like to see you take off a bit more with it. Have a bit more confidence yeah. to take something a bit more on with a kick. Because yeah. she was a good deliverer. She delivered yeah. it more beautifully. Yeah, she did. And a bit she like did. what we see Weetering do now. He has 100%. that kind of license to take that risky kick yeah. on. Set yeah. something up from back. Yeah. But all in all, great game from Charlotte. Great game. So the two players, and they were probably our one and two, both of us kind of. 
I didn't know your votes when I prepped that, no, 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 but no. great start no, 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 to the week. Start, no, no, no. Oh, oh, lucky guess, came uh, in. Well, well then, we suppose we've got a new segment where we judge coaches yep. and the umpires. So we'll start with, how did you vote Hartford's game? It wasn't the best start. I mean, he did some changes there. I thought he could have done some earlier changes, especially like, you mentioned this also, but before um, Harris, you know, maybe she could have been moved a lot earlier, you know, instead of that last quarter. So I thought he got our coach for the day. I thought he got our coach. So what? we're going to score out of 10, are we? We're going to give a score out of 10. Man, what's a pass mark? Five or is a six? What are we going to do? No, sixty no, percent. I would say is, is a pass. Uh, so I'd say uh, six out of ten to a five. Four man he, he Well, man, he missed Rocker. the boat. We lost. The, oh, well, Rocker man. one in flags. Come on, half and mate. <laughs> you seriously want more than that? Like, give me a call if you reckon you deserve more <laughs> than that, man. Because all. Mate, because first of all, you're zero at half time, and you have to take that responsibility. Can I take on the chin? Yeah, and, and I'm seriously like, I give you, I give you like one vote because I have to give you a vote, right? And I give you three votes for that third quarter, but that's it, man. Like that's it. So four. Yeah, I, I'm. I went five. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna say it's still I'm, not a pass. It's yeah. still not a pass. I'd say it was. There was enough in the second half to redeem. I think if you did. The way I look at it is if he doubled the second half, it would have been a 10. Yeah, if my mum and if my grandma... Yeah, do you want know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah so but if, I, mean, I mean, as my pop used to say, if Nana had wheels, she'd be a bite. Exactly. So that's a polite way of saying yeah. what you were saying. Well, I was about to say it, I didn't want to say it. Right, right. But, so, yeah. But I mean, like, to me, my biggest bugbear was I thought that just Harris was too deep. I thought she played yeah. in to Stacey's hands. I thought... It looked like at times she was on a holiday, Harris. Like, if she put up a deck chair and started drinking a margarita, I wouldn't have freaking been a bother because it. she kind of was just isolated. And I think the way to get the best out of Harris for me is get her involved. Yep. I felt we could have pushed what they did and pushed their midfield back yep. to leave a one out yep. and make that contest. Say to Livingston, right, okay, you've talked a big game all, all year. You can beat a one on one. Have it. This. We're going to take your smalls away from you, so you yep. can't just play it on the ground. Can you beat a one-on-one on, one on yeah, the ground? 100%, man. And I just felt, to me, you get Harris in the game, they're the kind of games that she can win. Yep. But all in all, for me, uh, five. I, thought, I felt like he misused a few players. 100%, I thought Vessio was another one yep. I would have brought onto the ball. 100%. Yeah, I was thinking that on the game, and, and again, man, like, yeah, she should have been more on the ball. Uh, yeah, she, that, she. Look, he missed. He missed a few things there, man. The Harris one. She's our. She's our weapon, isn't she? Everyone yeah. talks about her. She's the weapon. Ba, 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 and then you don't use her. Like you don't use her. Why do we? Why didn't you use it? Look, and I think he's going to be better in the second. Very round. good coach. Yeah, but I love I, her. I, I think he's a great. You see a great Carlton player. Great Carlton player played a whole. 20 games or something. Mate, you're a great can't play, man, and now great can't man. So yeah, we love, we love Harford, but mate, we expect, we expect only the best from our blue boys and girls. Well, I think to put in a valiant effort and get a four and a five. So what's that? Four and a half. We'll round it out to. You got four and a half. Yeah. So thank you, Uncle Pom, for getting you a little bit back. Getting a little bit back. <laughs> I'll put the big four up on the whiteboard there. So, but, but I mean, that shows probably what he's capable of. Yeah. Uh, if it's a ten, it's a walkover. Yeah. So not not far off. But I will say to me, not the best start, but he redeemed himself at the end. Yeah. Hopefully, we bring second half Carlton against the dogs. 100%. Because they're going to need it because the dogs ain't no mugs. And you saw that, well, are we up to next week? No, we're not yet. Oh, we're not <laughs> but keep, keep that in mind because they did win by nine yes, against the Saints. The Saints I mean, lost by time. nine, sorry, in the Saints yeah, are very good outfit. They're no mug either, yeah. So then, umpires. Oh, yes, the umpires. Got to slate these mugs. 
because the AFL sell everyone. We're not going to be like everyone. Oh, you can't talk about the umpires. You know what? 150 grand a year, man. I'm talking about you, mate. I wish I earned 150 grand a year for running around. To be fair, umpires are like traffic wardens. I don't respect Uh, you. And then they do a good decision, and everyone goes, "Oh, you know, they did what? That's what you're supposed to do, mate." But don't miss those things, you know. So anyway, in saying that, they didn't actually do a bad job this week. Yeah. They actually did a pretty good job. Like I was trying to find something where I could really like get stuck into them. But, you know, there was a couple of decisions there that maybe could have gone either way. But apart from that, yeah, mate, this segment's going to get harder during the year because we're going to pick out some stuff, you know. But I don't think it was that bad of an effort. What do you reckon? Uh, I mean, I, I gave it a five out of ten, and this is my really? this is my yearly bugbear. Okay. Yearly bugbear. It's interpretations of the hold in the ball call and incorrect disposal. There yeah. was a few tackles that got pinned for Carlton, yeah. and I didn't think the same thing was reciprocated with Carlton when we tackled them. Yeah. Felt like there was a different grey area. Now I don't know if that's because we're exponentially better at skills, so yeah. the. The, the umpire was giving Collingwood a little bit of a favour. Well, if they were doing that. But I will say this: I, 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 I want to see, I, I want to see the holding the ball rule be ruthlessly implemented. Yeah. Like I, I want to see if in doubt out yeah. type rules. Of, yeah. Like I'll be. It's too much of a grey area, that one. I mean, it's. it's just, I felt like we had to. Ta- there was a few times like Maddie got that tackle, but she tackled the girl three yeah. times. And it was like the third no, time it was paid, but yeah. it was like. Well, in five elevator. seconds. Yeah, that's right. Like that was the no, prior. No. The first tackle you f- you fell over has to be your prior if you're getting pinned again. I don't know if it's the umpires or it's the actual like umpiring committee or the AFL that caused this problem. But how many times? Come on, people. How many times do you watch a game and you hear the whistle and you look at the umpire to see which direction he's pointing at? Like you got no idea. I genuinely 125% blame Gil. Because he's like, let's speed the game up. It so is, I, mate. For so like a million dollars a year, you should be doing better, mate. Like this. I, I, I think that puts the doubt in his mind, in the umpire's mind, that they're hearing the AFL say, we want faster, yeah. we want speed, and obviously blowing a hole in the ball slows the game down for five seconds, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So, but to me, I think it speeds it up because we yeah. get, we do. I want to see less contests and more playing football. I, I, I am not a fan of seeing the stoppages. Nah, no one wants to see I, the I just stoppages. want to see a ping holding the ball, take your free kick, hurry go, up. Go, go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, so, and then there's another couple of rules which we've talked about before that maybe could help that. But, all right, so you gave him, uh, what'd you give him? A five. five. I'm mean. Yeah, I'm, you gotta, mean, you I'm, I'm pretty mean too. You've got to remember I'm Pomp's uh, authority. You would I'm going to look, man. I'm six gonna, is a uh, ten, really. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to give you like a six and a half. I think... I, as I said, I Good rewatched effort. the game, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You're right in few of those decisions, but I thought they did all right. There was no howlers, there was no real howlers, which you, which you usually get one or two a game. You know, I was waiting for like a deliberate, a deliberate like, out, you know, deliberate out of bounds, you yeah. know, or something. So. And there was none of that kind of happening. So anyway, six and a half. So good start. Let's not. I'm telling you, man. I'm out to get you next week, man. I'm watching those. Umpires. Honestly, umpires, if you're watching this, hoping to get above a six, you probably will never get above a six. Like me. It, even even if you have the perfect game, I'll probably give you seven I'm because you're umpires. You're starting you. I'm giving you like a little bit of hope here, but you, man, it's all down here. Man, it's all down here for me, and my There's team. A- Something that we're going to be pushing, aren't we now, yep. to finish with, is our initiative, aren't we? Yep. And I love this idea. Our and end goal. It's our end goal, isn't it, to get this real? This is a big goal for the year, man, and we're going to need everyone to get behind this, right? We're going to need everyone to get behind this. I love this idea. You came up with the idea, so I'm going to take no credit on it. You got it off another <laughs> like sport, but it's, it's, a, it's a team that you dearly love. And all other clubs have got their, like the Port Adelaide, they go around, they sing their stupid song and they're like, this is ridiculous, man. But we've come up with something, I think, that could really change what the fan means to a club, yeah? Yeah, and in honor of that, we're going to have what we're called the 19th club person. Yep. So you're going to be the 19th team member. And we think that, obviously, 18 players are on the field in the men's yep. game. 19th is on the bench. 
you're the extra person on the field all the time, the 19th, yeah. and I think it's iconic because Bats currently are 19. Yep. Kind of personifies what we're about. 100%, in it. man. It leaves. You know, we loves the thing. The fans love him. He leaves. The fans still love him. He still loves Carl while he's playing. He comes back. We love. We love Eddie Betts, and yeah, the number 19 definitely. And I don't agree in retiring jerseys, yep. but I want to see the 19th Guernsey retired. Like my beloved Rangers, our number 12 is forbidden to be worn by a player yep. because we're the 12th man. We're, we're listed on the team sheet. We're listed on the playing department. Yep. We are part of that playing group. Yeah. And this is where you got it. Because of your beloved yeah. Rangers there, you got this. And when we talked about it, because it all come about when the numbers were given out to the new players. Yeah. Yeah? And we thought, oh, and people going like, the six should be retired, and this, yeah. and the ba 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 oh, and all this bullshit, you know? To me, numbers shouldn't be retired, man. You play for them, like, who do you have to be to get your number retired, you know what I mean? Like, eh, Don Bradman should have his bloody number retired. That's about it, you know? But you then you come up with this idea, and I, man, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think everyone should get behind it. We're going to get behind it as far as we're going to have the 19th club person. We're going to name this person and we're going to give them, uh, we're going to give them, you know, we're, we're going to... Give uh, you a pump up. up. We're going to give a pump up, yep. But we want this to get bigger than just a jumper punch, don't we? Oh, I'm saying, and I think the 19th club person will announce a new one every week and we'll yep. be spying on Facebook to see if you inca encapsulate yep. what we want yep. but basically there's a responsibility for the week you have it yep. and I want to see you push the agenda of the club yep. I want to see you uh, not always being positive don't think you've got to no, blow no. smoke up their ass but I think I want to see this fan really push the agenda push the yep. support get behind them yep. really drive the troops to focus us yep. all in one thing and that is somehow helping the girls the boys I don't care if it's Paddy Dow trying to make his lunch. Yep. You should be oh, outside right. of his window telling him to butter that bread better than any other bread man. being buttered. Hundred percent, man. And this is what the 19th play. And as I said, we're going to push this agenda. I'm going to somehow get to speak to the club, man. They're going to listen to me, man. And if they really want to do something, I'm telling you, man, we could be the first to yep. really do this. And can you imagine, Ryan? The as you said, you the 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 team comes out and 19th man is you it's something huge as well when you go yeah. to a rangers game you see the team sheet and they have the little 12 with the jersey and it just yep. says you yep and it's so powerful as a fan when you suddenly think well hang about i'm part of this lot 100 percent, man 100 percent. You, know, you told me that even in um when because there's no crowds how your coach he mentioned that that they were missing the 12th, 12th man. man yeah we've had we've had this is the coach saying we've, we've had coaches as well going way back said that he would he would transfer the 12th man yep. when the fans yep. were abject but they were very quiet one game and yep. the the coach has come out and slated the fans and said well fans were non-existent today yep. they were quiet we're miserable we were down a man yeah do you know what i mean it, yep. it, how are we going to get motivated man. if you guys are sitting and watching us and looking sad? Yeah. How are we going to play for you? So, to me, I think it's hugely important. I've spoke to players. Mitch McGovern talks about the noise at St Kilda, yep. how it kind of willed him to get on the yep. back of the player and take the mark. Yep. Well, important job. So, this I, week's 19th clubman yep. is Big Riley Starre. Like now, yeah. Riley won it this week because yep. he he was offering a lot of reviews of the women's game throughout yep. the game I saw him post non-stop yep. about come on girls yep. get behind um, you've encapsulated I think the honour of wearing the beloved number 19 100% man Riley man you are the 19th player on the ground for not only blue broad jumper punch but also the club, the club man and, the, and again man I want everyone to push this now I want everyone to push this can you imagine can you imagine they also like the club names one supporter every week as the captain of the 19th the 19th play you know someone stands out there and, and all of a sudden because at the end of the day we just want to feel part of this club yeah yeah and honestly like we'll do this every week a new yep. person but it is so important we've all got a responsibility 100%. to drive them if you go back and watch that game if you were there that day you see the difference it made when you started to make a little bit of noise yep little yep. bit of noise yep. when, when it was getting frustrating it does help and i think it's super important yeah 
for all of us to get behind it. So Riley, we're looking for you this week. Well done, mate. I'm expecting to see you push the agenda. Yeah. And hey, can he, he can, can he win it again? Hey, well, I mean, you can win back to back. You can win back to back. So we want we want uh, everyone to push it. We want everyone to get out there, as you said, um, with uh, your messages. Uh, do something. Stay now. We'll pick you out and we'll uh, make it an idea. Don't thing. contact us. We'll contact yeah, you. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Don't contact us, we'll contact you. But yeah, yeah, so push it. So definitely, come on, guys. Let's push this 19th. I like it. We are, our aim is I want to retire that 19th jersey. After Eddie Betts wears it this year, that jumper gets retired. Not only because, not because it's Eddie Betts, because we will become the 19th man, you know what I mean? It's, so, I think it's a fitting way as well to, to kill the 19th. Yeah. On the last human to wear it was probably... Someone who really encapsulates right. the hearts he of the fans. I mean, 100%. you would say the fans player is is bats, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. That is the people's who choice. Who doesn't love Eddie Betts, yeah. So, all right, that's good, man. I love that idea. So, everyone, push it. follow Riley into battle. Right. And hopefully next week, you're leading us into yeah, battle. Yeah, that's it, man. Who's going to be the 19th club person? Yeah. Who's going to be the first girl now? We've got a boy. Ah. Like it's gonna be the first go. Come on, and there's a few out there. Man, there's, a few, there's a few. There's a few. There's a few out big there. ones. I'm looking at a few of them. A few. If I was a betting man, there's a few I'd be looking at. Yeah. So, I suppose talking about the girls next week, they have the doggies. Yeah, so we have got the doggies next week. So uh, must win game, really. Well, early for nine. Like. With what is it? Nine rounds. <laughs> That is a must-win game. When, when you've only got nine rounds, man, you can't lose too many, you know. I was saying this, we had nine rounds, what, 36 quarters, you know what I mean? We played one good quarter, we really stuffed up three of those quarters. When you've only got 36, that's a lot. Next week, I think it's next Friday? Yeah. Next Friday? We're in Oval. We're in Oval, yes. Yeah. So uh, get out there, support Theater the girls. Theatre of Dreams. Yeah, if you can, support the girls, man, seriously. We it's need... a good day out as well, isn't it, Rocco? Oh, I you had it. fun, didn't you? I mean, oh, you had to remortgage your house for some chips, but apart from that, it was pretty good. Yeah, ate the bloody chips, and then my son ate most of mine too, so I walked out bloody starving, you know, so I spent like 12 bucks for chips. But anyway, look, I love going back to the Princess Park, but I love that ground, man. It just brought back so many memories. I loved it, but it was good just to see, see the footy. It was good, the atmosphere. Man, there was a crowd, I can't believe it. Like, yeah, I don't, you can't believe what I missed, you know, just watching, watching being out there, Looking at everyone's face, everyone was happy. There was a, there was people like uh, having a really good time. So yeah, get out there, support the girls, and um, yeah. So it's going to be a tough game because they're no mugs. I mean, yeah, they just they went down fighting to the Saint Kilda girls. Saints are good side. The Saints, so. Saints are good. I mean, yeah. you, you'd hope we win contested wise, and the clearance is probably yeah. our weak area, our yeah. strength. Yeah. So if we can get on top of that. Look, let's uh, let's continue the way we finish. Yeah, I think so. So, all right, what's the prediction then? Girls by 19. 19 points. We're going to smash them. We're going to bloody smash them. I'm telling you, I reckon that it could be like a six-goal win. It could be a six-goal win, man. We're going to smash six them. We're going, mate. We're going hard, man. We're coming after you, the doggies. Seriously? Nah, man. We're going to like, smash them, man. We're going to smash them. Old calls. 36 points, blues. You like it? I love it. I love right. it. I think on that note, we'll let you decide. Let us know in the comments. Great to see you. Remember, stay blue, folks. We'll see you next week. See you, guys.